Frank. We smoked for these people. We smoked for these people. We smoked for these people. I smoked. Nice. Freddie's <laughs> starting trouble here. Is he in trouble? <laughs> what, starting what, trouble. What do you think about this film coming out and reviving an interest in your old music? Oh, I hope it sells some more records. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Does, would that benefit you personally? Why not? Sure. Why not? Everybody would be uh, beneficial for that. Why not? We're going to deny it, say no, don't sell net records. Actually, uh, records, that's an obsolete term. So. Uh, right. Albums, records, yeah. the same thing. Songs, downloads, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Uh, what did you think of the film? Final. What, what did you think of the film? I don't know yet. I didn't see it. I just came here to take pictures. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't care. No, I didn't see it yet. Which albums did you play on? All, all of them except the first album, Blondie. Yeah, I've played on the uh, from then on. But the uh, second album I played on, but I wasn't officially in the group, so I got a credit as like you would call it a side man. I don't know what you would call it. I was in the I was playing bass and guitar. So how often would you guys play CBGBs? In the beginning? Yeah. Well, actually, in the beginning, before I was in the band, the band played there a lot, and we played a few times when I was in the band, and but. That was like the beginning of us starting to leave CBGBs, you know, and uh, play other places. But bigger, better. Well, not better, bigger, but they weren't cooler than CBGBs. You know, home, the home uh, town club, the home club, basically. People don't understand the, the history of the band. The, uh, Chris Stein got sick. That was later on. That was after uh, we already had made all the records, pretty much, except for I think the, right before the Hunter. Or I'm not sure when it happened. So, yeah. What did you think about the Rapture record and the, and the notion of playing a, a, a dance, you know, modern disco dance style? Well, you know, it's it was it was different. It was interesting. I get to play the lead guitar at the end. <laughs> Basically, when I first went in there and to the song, I didn't even hear the whole song, and uh, he basically played it for me and said, "Play here." Are you sure? So I played the solo. Okay, thank you. On it, demand, I played it <laughs> in the solo <studio>. now. <laughs> yeah. He has a, he's uh, doing a piece for November twenty third. Okay. This. You're doing a piece. This is the tw November twenty third. I, I, I have no idea what she's talking about. I don't know either. She knows more than I do, uh, and she's not in the band. She wasn't in the band. What do you think? Of, what do you think of the uh, the fame of the band outside America? Uh, well, we we became more famous in England because uh, England is a small place, and you can get famous really quick there. You know? Yeah. I mean, if you play Top of the Pops, the next day you could be uh, you know the biggest band in in England anyway. You know, and. Uh, you know, we played everywhere. For before we came to America, we were like in Australia. We were sort of had a hit record there before America, and uh, you know, America was the last to catch up on it. You know what I mean? It was like, okay, we hear everything from England and all that. Uh, you know how what's happening with them there, and they picked up on that, and uh, that was it. But we were more famous everywhere else before we. Were in America. America. Yeah. Did you feel like ambassadors of America in a way when you were out there with uh, ambassadors with, with a sex pistol? An, or ambassadors of bad will. No. <laughs> uh, no, we weren't an, any kind of ambassadors in terms of uh, you know we were just having fun playing music, you know. Yeah. And that's what the way I see it, you know. Yeah. I wasn't thinking in terms of being an ambassador. Maybe they were. I don't know. <laughs> what, what was it like? Clem was uh, he was running for. Something that uh, he, no, I don't know. They uh, might have been ambassadors, not me. What was it like having the English fans who originally cheered the, the Stones and the Beatles and then the Sex Pistols and the, the English punk scene cheering for an American band? Well, those that that level of uh, the audience might not have been that. Before, you know, they may have just been coming in on it with the Blondie thing. But, you know, it was cool. Everybody, at that, that time, everybody, uh, it was a whole movement, you know. It was, it was like the Beatles coming out the Mercy Beat and all the bands coming from there. And, you know, it was coming from the, you know, uh, CBGBs. And it was sort of like that. But, uh, 
fans in England were really cool, you know, they really, uh, they were into us, and uh, it's, like I said, England is just a, a smaller place, and it's easier to become famous and successful there, so. What do you expect the movie will do? No, I, I mean, ever since I, the, the band always was going forward, there was never a point where the band stopped until we made it stop, you know, so it was always moving forward, getting better and bigger and that kind of thing, you know? Yeah. It was always positive, moving forward, you know? Do you have, uh, still have a connection with the uh, ba former band members? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I have connections with some people, yes. You know. Do you imagine you might tour again? With me and the band? Or, or play with the band in a reunion? That would be a miracle <laughs> at this point, but you know, you never know. People might change their uh, change. Someone might change. I don't know. Something might change, and at this point, I don't see that happening right now or in the near future. But I'm not saying it's impossible. Anything goes, man. You know, we didn't know where we were going to become that big in the first place. You know, so. What's, if, if people want to, want to uh, stay in touch with you online, you have a website or something? Well, you could go to Facebook. I'll go on. Sorry, go on. Um, I have like a Facebook page, but it's, you know, it's a personal page, so it's me, but you know, um, I want to get a, another page. So, just look me up on the internet somewhere and you'll, you'll find me, if you look hard enough. <laughs>